So, hey, I'm a like the Lowenstein. You can always find me at AllegraLowenstein.com. 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 <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. So it's been a while. I'm back. I'm super excited. I have so many ideas. But I thought, as sort of a warm-up to get me going, what I would do is just... Uh, go over my books because I haven't been around, I haven't been talking about them, and I always have a lot to say. You may be familiar with the one that I have spoken of most recently. It's not about the food. This is an amazing anthology. There are 10 wise, generous, just heartful people featured in this book, experts in their own right. Health, wellness, we cover everything. Finance, because really having your finances in order is part of a truly holistic approach to health. And of course, it's all really based on living your best life and really coming from a place of, yeah, deep satisfaction and mindfulness. It's a weight loss book, yes, but it's really just a best life book. Live your best life. Set good boundaries, enforce them, take care of yourself, nourish yourself, understand why you're pursuing financial gain, because as, as uh, Byron Harlan, the finance guy here, has started to say, it's not about the money, right? We really want freedom, we want choice, and we want to be healthy and feel good in our bodies. That's what this book is about. So there's just so much good stuff you can actually get. I'll post all the links below. But the back of the book, and it's featured also on my website as a as an even more beautiful gift, is a worksheet with action item questions. You can do them on your own. Of course, they're so much more powerful when you complement them with the chapter. So for each chapter in this anthology, there is an action item prompt. And it's just really, it's just really good stuff, guys. Uh, let me just, let me just read you. Let me just, I should have planned something. Oh, here, this is good. My original plan for this book was to invite this variety of health and wellness professionals to write up their suggestions for best ways you might achieve your personal health goals. Almost every one of the people I contacted ended up sharing the story of their own unique journey. Listening to their stories, I realized that fitness is not about food and exercise. It is about mindset, replacing old beliefs and habits, and developing a healthy self-esteem. As Trish Marmo put it, one of the amazing authors, human beings have been telling stories since the dawn of time. It's how we share lessons, convey, convey important information, and pass on our history. It's also how we describe our own catalysts for change, including the decision to break free from the punitive grip of the diet mindset. Now, I had to put that in there when she said that to me because she just summed it up so good. This is really about change making. Many of them are told through personal stories, and they're all also punctuated by action items. A couple of chapters focused on action items and then an action item um, at the end, right? So, I don't know. I, I uh, used to do Toastmasters. I did it for many years. And in addition to making me a better public speaker, I really learned how to manage meetings very well. You, if you've never done Toastmasters, you should. I'm going to just put a little aside including walking away always with action items. And so that's what you do. It's kind of a meeting of the minds, this book. It's like going to a conference, except it's sort of way more fun. It's like hanging out with your friends. It's as fun as hanging out with your friends, as informative as going to a conference, and as effective as going to the best planned meeting you've ever been to. And it should be, like any good meeting, not too freaking long, right? So... You're not talking about a hugely long book. All right. I have also shared quite a lot, and I'll link to my YouTube channel. I have tons and tons of videos for Kitchen Magic. This book is so fun. And I have to say, I really, I just really love, I keep this in my kitchen, and I really, really love having my own <laughs> recipe book because these are my favorite recipes. 
And I also am coming up with kind of a sister book to this. I said sequel, but it's really more of a sister book, and it's going to be called It's Not About the Food. It'll probably come out next year. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not really about the food. That's the one I just talked about. It's called Too Busy to Cook. And it takes the recipes section and how I come up with my recipes, and it explains that whole system. It, you get to go inside of my brain. I don't know if you're scared or not. It's pretty fun in here, actually. But it takes, the, re the recipe section is just one part of this. Recipes, right? So it's just this section right here. And they're great. If they're basic, good basic recipes, it covers, you know, a lot of the, so that's it. That's the recipe section. And then parties and covens and friends, ideas for how to do it. And I don't, you know, this stuff comes natural to me, but I break down how I make it so easy, right? So, you know, you want to do something fun, how you do a tea party. It doesn't have to be complicated, which is daily spa, right? So I really it also sort of has some more recipes here, but they're beauty product recipes. So if you started getting into essential oils, they're really, I have some really easy ways to start doing that. Potions and lotions, so that's the essential oil part. Um, assorted other spells. So these are just rituals to do in your life. Celebrate the seasons, right? There's super, super simple ways. Oh, journals, of course, you know, I'm obsessed with journals. So what do you do when you wrap up an old journal and you start a new journal? To me, that is always a a moment in my life that's worth marking. I mean, it's almost more significant than a birthday because it, I filled this whole journal with ideas and they mean something to me and, and I've changed because of it, right? So how do you mark that as you go? Oh, gardening. Okay, look. I think I'm the kind of person that should have a green thumb, but I don't really. But I still put things in pots and let them grow, and it's fun. And it, even if that's all you do to connect to the cycles of the earth and the season, it's so powerful and potent. So this book is just really fun. It's so easy. This is to, if you're scared of cooking, if you're scared of playing with essential oils and you think you need some expert to do it, this is the book to get. If you're scared to put seeds into the earth, this is totally the book to take away all of that fear and just make it all about having fun, take the pressure off, and just, it really doesn't have to take a lot of time or money or energy, and it can be so rewarding and so, it can connect you, ground you to your body, ground you to the earth. These are, the, these are mindfulness practices, right? So I also feel like I should be the kind of person who meditates every day, but I don't. But I have a lot of mindfulness practices, and so I do feel grounded, and I know that you can get a lot of that benefit in many, many ways. So that book introduces you to a lot of my ways that I've developed mindfulness practices, rituals, habits, essentially, in my life that keep me connected and alleviate stress, make me feel just that my life is richer and fuller. All right. The book that started it all, if you don't have a copy, you should get one. And more importantly, if you have a copy and it's just sitting on your bedside table, you should complete the journal. <laughs> Journals don't work unless you work, but it doesn't have to take very much time. Look, once a day, you just, you write this much. And if you don't want to write a lot, then just Make your handwriting really big, okay? There's no lines. This is not lined paper. You can write really big words and still get the benefit, All right? So there's just so many really good questions in here. And you don't have to do it 21 days straight. Nobody's going to know. It's normal to fall off the wagon take a little breather and come back to it and it's still gonna make the difference. This is 21 day inspirational journal to understand your cravings into overeating and find freedom from dieting forever. So I struggled with emotional eating and when I was doing health coaching, all of my clients did too. Okay, so because most people overeat for emotional reasons and I've had people tell me everything. I don't overeat at all. And then they tell me later what they're really eating, or I don't emotionally eat, but I eat when I'm bored. So emotional eating just means 
not eating out of hunger. And actually, we should emotionally eat because we want to have celebrations and feasts and we want to feel good. And what this journal helps you do is understand and break down where is, where is that in the healthy zone, right? Because one, we don't want to eat as a reaction to negative patterns in our life, right? And that can happen. And that's where I was with sugar specifically for me. I ate and that's how I would justify it to myself. Oh, I eat healthy. I eat vegetables. I don't need to change anything. And yet I was seriously binging on sugar on a almost daily basis. So we're really good at lying to ourselves. And this is just kind of shining that light onto those habits in a really gentle way. Okay. In a really sacred way. Nobody else is going to see this. You don't have to share it. You can do it as slow or as fast as you want to. And um, it really is powerful change, right? So I, I created this because I, these are the questions I was asking my health coaching clients that was getting them results. And that's how this got started. Let's see if I can find a little. Awareness is the first step. I do believe that. And yet it's only the first step. When we stop with awareness, we do not change, right? So that's one more reason I love journals because... You can be aware that there's a problem and it's still really hard to change, but that mindfulness practice and it's a chance, writing in a journal is a chance to practice how you want to be thinking about these things in a safe time and space. It's very hard to change your reactions in the moment. You practice five minutes every day, you fill that page. Suddenly, the next time you're faced with a situation that you would have had a hard time resisting in the past, you're going to notice changes happening in your life just from the practice version you were doing with the journal. So this is one of many, many reasons why I'm so in love with journaling. There is also emotional eating detox for men. So I don't have a copy in my hands. Anyone can do either version, quite frankly. The, the journal itself is questions actually are the same. But I just changed the um, some of the beginning information to make it a little bit more specific to men because I realized that um, since most of my clients had been women, this was a little bit catered just towards the, the woman's perspective. So if you're sitting there thinking as a man, dude, I'm never going to do that. Well, I have one that's blue and yellow and green and it says four men on it. So you can get that one instead. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is kind of phase two. If you really are wanting to do deep work, should get this and then you should get this and then I'll tell you the next one that you should get and by the way if you're local in San Diego I actually do a promotion if you want to get all of my books I sell them to you at a discount and if you buy all my books and this would be the order that I would recommend them in read this it's a pretty short read do this do this and I'll talk about this one in a second do this and then just own this and use it forever. And you could probably do all that in easily um, six months. If you, you could do it straight through in six months and even if it took you a year, it didn't matter. You would totally transform your life. You would absolutely change your entire way that you eat, the way that you live. You would reduce your stress. You would lose weight without going on a diet or making any effort in the lose weight category because it would naturally start happening with awareness and cultivating that, um, cultivating these new neural pathways, essentially. That's really what mindfulness does and that's what journaling does. All right, so this one is so beautiful and so good because even if you're not focusing on weight loss, this book is amazing. All right, this book is one of my favorites, and I have another, a true sequel. Okay, I guess it's really, it's a sequel because it's coming out next, but I guess it's really more of a sister book. So I'm coming out with another sister book to this. It's kind of top secret. So I'll just tell you, it has body wisdom in the name. But I don't know when that one's coming. It's a little more complicated. So let me, let me get to something good. Oh, this book is so good. So it starts with writing an affirmation. I actually have a whole course on writing the perfect affirmation. 
check it out if you're interested. It's really better to do, it can be done in a, I mean, you can do a version that's this long, it'll take maybe 20 minutes. You should do it in maybe five, 10 minutes and then come back the next day and do another five, 10 minutes. Normally, each of these prompts is just the same. It's, it's five, 10 minutes, really. Everything I do is, can be pretty much written in five to 10 minutes a day. All of these, all of these, even this big fatty. Um, but this is gonna say, day one. So there's rituals in this book too. Healing ritual. Today, you begin a journey of healing. You might complete it in 40 days, or you might take breaks and detours and do it in bits and pieces. However you do it is fine. Take a deep breath right now. That's always good advice. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do three, actually. You should, too. Go ahead and, like, fix your shoulders. That's so much better. Let go of any expectations you have. Let go of any shoulds or must do's. Let this process unfold in a loving, healing, and gentle way. Let's start this journey by setting your intention for the journal. Spend five minutes and write down all the things you want to gain from this journal. Write down all the things you want to feel about your body, that you want to feel in your body. Write down all the things you want to think to yourself when you look in the mirror. What do you say when you look in the mirror? It's just to you. Is it loving and kind? Don't doubt or second guess yourself. Just write all the dreams and hopes you have for this process. So even if you don't get the journal, you can just do that activity and start to cultivate this broader vision of where you're really wanting to be, how you're wanting to see yourself literally when you look in the mirror. Okay, so then you go back and you, that's when you get to sort of a true affirmation. So you refine it and you, I'm not gonna go and cross it off and come back, you circle it write 10 versions and then you pick one. That's the gist of it. Um, but this is just also all of, all of them. They're so gentle and kind and loving because that is just the secret. That is the secret to lasting success and change when it comes to anything in health and wellness. And my God, really, anything in life, right? If you're coming from a place of just hatred it's just not going to last. You know, you're never... And if it does, then that's sad, right? We don't, why should we be so mean to ourselves? And We're so mean to ourselves. So this book really is a way to just change that whole thing, to start to champion yourself and not be so hard on yourself. And I'm, I'm still doing this work, right? We're our own biggest critics. Um, and it, it can just be really powerful to rewrite some of that story and be really loving and gentle and especially in our physical bodies and let's be honest especially as women although I think it's starting to get that way for men too the pressure is unreal I mean the expectations just the bullshit that gets put into our head at such a young age about physical expectations it can mess up the most healthy mind person because it's it's everywhere it's every magazine you ever look at every tv show you ever see it's all over, all the media, social media is there, it's all embedded. So you can rewrite some of that story. You can, again, this is actually, it changes your neural pathways. It changes your brain. So you have a thought process that repeats habits, habits, habits. And, you know, Deanna Nunez, one of the authors in this book, she's a hypnotist. So she talks about this stuff all the time. So we have these pathways and that's why it's hard to make changes, right? It's, it's like going on autopilot in a car. Sometimes you forget to take the other road that you meant to take. And our brains are that way. So we have to carve out new ones and then practice them. And then eventually that becomes the new way, right? So once you take the new route over and over and over, then it's just the new way that you do things. So that's what these journals do, right? I'm practicing. I'm coming up with a new route. And then I'm practicing taking it. And eventually that's going to be my new way. And so this one is just all about doing that to, to cultivate that self-love. Now, last one for today. The big daddy. The big mama. Okay, so I know this might look a little scary because it's so big. 
but it is really designed to do it in little bursts and take a break. And the instructions say that. They say, really, you do this for two weeks at a time, and then you put it aside, and then you come back. But if you have ever, um, honestly, ever gone on a diet, ever tracked calories, this is the new, this is the new way. <laughs> you should get this. Although, if you obsess and count calories obsessively, you should not get this yet. You should do all of these. You should get all of these other books first. Right? So if you're already in a mindset where you try to count everything up, and I've been there. I did it with sugar. I would try to count and eat no sugar, and then it wouldn't work, and then I would binge. So I totally have been in this situation with sugar grams, and it doesn't have to be that way. You can actually let go of all that, and it seems scary, but you can, you can, you can live a different way. So you don't write down calories with this book. It's the one thing you don't write numbers. And you know you can actually, you can actually get these free journal pages. So this is such powerful stuff. It's just I give it away. You can get these pages. You can print them out. Now this is beautiful. So why you wouldn't want it? I don't know. But you can go get that. And then if you're looking for just an affordable way to do this actual book, um, all of those, because there, there is a whole beginning section, right? So, you know, there's this beginning section to do. Not super thick. It's a big book, though. It's, you know, 12 pages or so. Um, you can just buy the ebook, which is super affordable. You get that. You also get reflection pages that come with it. And then, um, you know, what to do at the end also. And then print your own journal pages. So this is kind of taking that process of tracking stuff, but you're tracking healthy habits. I mean, like real health, not bullshit health, not the fake stuff that actually detaches you from your body and makes you trust somebody else for advice, right? So that's the thing about counting calories and go into this external stuff. It, it actually separates you from what's happening so you can't even know what's triggering you to want to overeat so whether it's because you didn't eat all day you were just too busy and then you're overly hungry so you overly eat or whether you didn't eat because you were trying to be good and not eat a lot and you got overly hungry and overate or you just got really stressed out and then you overate because of that there's a bazillion reasons right or you're for me when I was a sugar binger I was lonely I felt lonely. I was in a time in my life. I lost some loved ones. Um, you know, one of them you know, tragically. And, um, you know, I just, I had this obsession where I thought, oh, if I just keep get in a relationship, you know, then I wouldn't be so lonely. And then when that didn't happen, I, and I didn't even see the connection. Right? I didn't understand why I would binge on sugar and not be able to stop myself. I really didn't understand that and so this starts to track biologically what's happening right so oh this super common one you don't get enough sleep and guess what if you don't get enough sleep you overeat that that is purely physiological that has nothing to do with stress or emotions or anything that's just well you're probably not getting enough sleep because you're stressed but there are physiological reasons that drive you to overeat that kick in a hormone a chain of hormone reactions Right, you get you don't get enough sleep, you get a certain chain of hormones. You literally can't not eat sugar, fat, and salt. So you start to do this kind of a thing, and you start to realize, oh well, I actually need this much sleep, or when this happens, so there's all different things: stress level, busyness. Because sometimes we don't think we're stressed, but then when we start seeing we're busy over and over. It's sort of just another way to be stressed, but they, they activate differently in our lives, right? So um, all different things that it's keeping track of, ways to look back, what to look for, when it's time to look back over the past two weeks. So this book is awesome. This is, this is my under underappreciated book, right? So people, I guess, actually, I actually am working on a smaller one, but I can't get it approved. It's got some formatting issues. Pocket size, so cute. Um, let's see, it's like not for resale. This is a proof copy. So this has got some issues, and I don't really. Well, I do know what they are, so yeah, I can show you. 
So see how that has a white at the top? And then this one doesn't have white at the top, but it's a bunch of little things like that. Anyway, someday, someday there'll be a pocket size, and then there'll also be the deluxe notebook size. So, those are my books. Thank you so much for going through all of them and waiting. Like I said, if you are local and you want to deal on them, hit me up. No delivery. You gotta, you gotta buy through Amazon if you want them delivered. <laughs> Too shipping. <laughs> That's the overview. And I'm super excited to be diving into each of these with a little more detail, content, action items um, over the coming months as I settle into routine that isn't disrupted by summer. And uh, I'll see you around. Can't wait to share more with you. Oh yeah, and don't forget, 